Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we are updating this video for your information and for questions that some of you have actually asked me in the past 24 hours. So uh, of course a lot of you are happy that the iCloud bug has been fixed. Uh, Apple fixed it of course, it's um, really not a bug, it's apparently from what I've uh, been reading it's a incompatibility that iCloud suddenly had in Windows 10. So of course um, Apple fixed that problem so that it is working. So if you're on iCloud once again. We of course learn also that there's a huge bug fixing update that was pushed to release preview. Now don't look for it if you're on the October 2018 update. Uh, it's not released yet. But insiders in the release preview are testing it. So this has a huge list of fixes. So if you're having issues, if you're having something that doesn't work well, we're soon to have another update to the October 2018 update. Um, now, it's in release preview. Is it going to be released in the next few days, next week, or just on patch Tuesday? Um, we don't really know because they've been testing these quite a lot. And... You know, usually release preview tests of updates are a few days. On the October 2018 update, they've been actually weeks. I think they're really, really taking it in a safe way here. Uh, we've learned of numbers also. How many people or how, how, what's the percentage of Windows 10 users that are on this uh, version of Windows 10? Well, according to Add Duplex, only 2.8%. Now, that still amounts to millions of people, but 2.8% uh, of all of you out there are on the October 2018 update. So we're a very small portion of Windows 10 users on this update. Um, it's not being pushed on Windows update for a lot of people. So that's why a lot of you, and I, I get this probably every day, I don't see it. I go to Windows update, I don't see it. It isn't pushed to a lot of people, actually. They're really, really taking slow. And there's a lot of little things that can prevent uh, one of the questions that uh, somebody asked, well, a few people asked, did they fix the Intel driver issues yet? Uh, there's still some issues, so Intel driver uh, updates. There were some fixes, because there was an Intel driver incompatibility that was fixed at first, but there's another one now that is preventing the HDMI port from giving audio if you have an external screen. That is still not fixed yet. It's Intel that is actually working apparently on a fix or a driver fix. So that will eventually be pushed through um, for sure. Now, of course, some of you have different issues um, of different kinds. Look, uh, there's a few really, really well-known things still happening, but for the most part, it's a mishmash of little problems here and there. So, you know, th that bug fixes that is being pushed to um, the release preview right now and actually fix some of the stuff that, that you have as issues if you do have them. So I, I guess, you know, the word is to be patient if you're already in the October 2018 update. The um, other thing is not to push the update if you're not uh, there yet. You know, don't push that thing. Wait for it to arrive. That's the best that you can do. So uh, for sure. And uh, last but not least, for all of us that are on, all of you that are on the April 2018 update, and I mean, that's 89.5% of all, every Windows 10 user. Of course, once again, there was a cumulative update yesterday that has bug fixes for you guys. So check that out. Um, and of course, you know, we're continuing to check out the rollout of the Windows uh, 10 October 2018 update, but it's really, really being very, very slow. And um, as soon as, you know, we know when a new update or a um, cumulative update is released, we'll, uh, of course, talk about it. Uh, I want to thank everybody. That, that tons of you have been saying, hey, thank you so much for keeping us up to date with what's happening on the October 2018 update. You know, it's part of what this channel is all about, trying to be uh, as up to date as possible with all the things that are happening in the Windows world and in the PC world in general. So uh, thanks for the nice comments, guys. And of course, we'll uh, continue checking out the situation for you guys as time goes on. So uh, hang in there. You got some bugs. There are a lot of bug fixes coming up. And um, if you've 
you know, the majority of you seem to be okay, like me. I'm, all the machines that I've updated here are fine. I have absolutely zero problems. So uh, it's kind of interesting. It's it's either you got problems or not. But overall, you know, once again, because a lot I, I get that question all the time. Yeah, should I move on to wait for it to arrive? Don't push. You know, it, it's interesting to see how a lot of people that, that don't necessarily know that much about computers absolutely want to push this new version. It's like, no, wait, doesn't matter. Yeah, there's nothing, you know, you're going to miss out on. It's There's new features, I talked about them, but there's really nothing that much you're going to miss on. So, okay, just hang in there and uh, we'll uh, update the situation as time comes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.